you guys had a, a stretch in this game where you guys couldn't buy a basket, turn the ball over, but yet defensively, you guys dug in your heels and put yourselves in a position to win mm -hmm. on that end. Um, what does that say about the way you guys are kind of changing the DNA of this team to be winning in that way? Uh, it just shows you that we have growth in, in areas of, um, you know, being challenged by other teams on the road, also at home. It shows we're growing in some, some small areas uh, where our communication is at an all-time high, especially when we're on the road and we understand where we are, and then uh, just the way we execute. You know, you saw a few in and outs from me in that fourth quarter. Uh, you know, you look back a year ago, and, and I could admit this about myself, I probably would have been pissed. I probably would have been out of it, just not making enough shots for us to get over the hump. And, uh, you know, I think our, our growth as a team is just seeing some of our leaders on our team, including myself, just be poised. Uh, and it's making a big difference. Um, the shots are going to go in and out sometimes, but if we get defensive stops and we do the little things, then we put ourselves in a great chance every game. So that that's probably where I, I feel like we're making that. Some incredible strides in games like this where we can come out with a W and talk about it. Uh, one thing I can say about TJ, he's an incredibly hard worker. He puts in a lot of work. Uh, you know, when no one's watching, I've shot with him a few times, uh, day before games, night before games. Uh, and you cheer for people like that that come in early, uh, they leave late. Uh, and obviously him coming off injury, he could have easily gone left or right in, in terms of his confidence level. Uh, so we know what he's capable of, uh, but ultimately to, with him, it's his, it's his confidence. And he's given us small points, you know, 15 points, 20 points. That, that makes a great deal uh, of a difference in the game. So I'm happy about uh, him being back. And I don't take his talent for granted. Harry, you talked about the in and outs that you had, and, but then you had seven points in the final one in change, including three big three. I mean, uh, I guess your coach says you're just great at season the moment, which you've shown before, but mm -hmm. what was that that just kept you going there? Like I said, just being mentally prepared, uh, using uh, a lot of sessions in the summer of challenging myself to be ready for these moments where I don't have to be swayed emotionally. I'm in control of my emotions. I'm in control of my thoughts, and, and I'm always positively reinforcing that we're going to come out with a, with a positive uh, end. Uh, you know, a win. So that's the objective. Obviously, it could go either way uh, in the game in terms of the flow, offense and defense. But things that I can control, like getting into the basketball with CJ, making things difficult, picking up Jose Alvarado, full court like he's doing to us, um, talking back and forth with some of the guys on the court, just to find some type of motivation. Because um, the ball is not going to run for me particularly, but that's not a chance. Uh, that's not. A, I don't want to use that as an opportunity for me to be selfish and get in my emotions. It's, it's about the team. So. so interesting what you just said, you're in control of your emotions. I mean, it shows. Like, do you feel there's that's an area you've made growth in, or, or that's just do you feel absolutely, that way? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh -huh. uh, very intentional about the way I train my mind, my body. Uh, and when you hear tons of BS in the crowd, or you know, you go into the game and you're not particularly shooting well over the last two or three games, it's easy to throw yourself off mentally. Uh, so coming into this game, I did the same preparation, got a good lift in, and just lived with the results throughout a 48 minute game. Um, you know. You, uh, I've played against a few guys uh, up to this point now where over the season where they get really excited in the first three quarters and I just have to remind them, like, it's a four-quarter game. You know, anything could happen. Uh, so you just got to be prepared for that. And those last few games, I mean, were they, were they looks that you normally would make and you just missed them and you chalk it up to make them just league? Or were teams playing you any differently physicality-wise than maybe they had? Yeah, I, I believe it's both. I get the utmost respect for the defenders that I play against. Um, and, and when I get the opportunity to be wide open, I feel like I should make every shot. That's just my confidence. You know, we, I put in a lot of hours. Um, but when it's not going, you still got to lead by example. I'm playing both ends of the floor at a high level and, and not get into your own body and feelings. It's easy to do that. And, um, you know, big power player out there, so responsible for what I can control. Kevin, I have a question. You talked about how you learn to kind of work through whatever's going on with your shot in a game over the last year. Jack was saying how much you respected your ability to erase how many misses you had and still be able to knock down those shots. How do you learn that? Uh, just studying the greats and uh, striving to be greater than them. Uh, you know, you look at some of the great uh, representation or representatives of the professional sports across 
you know, you look across the bounds of, of people and uh, most of the time you see that there's a similarity, there's a commonality between the way that they control their emotions depending on the game. And I've been able to learn that over time, but I think the, the greatest thing I've been able to learn this year is being with the guys, just you know, going through a lot of things externally or internally, and us just figuring it out. And basketball is just a very simple art form. Uh, so if I, if I don't bring all my extra distractions or anything that I'm going through mentally into the game, then I feel like we have a great chance of, of winning every ball game. Uh, that's just something I've uh, taken responsibility for on my own and uh, just try to positively enforce that we can win ball games no matter what's going on.